We've seen how to plot graphs, plotting quadratics and plotting straight lines, for example. But it's also useful to be able to do quick sketches of curves based on general properties and principles. For example, if we have a curve of the form y equals ax squared plus b, where a and b are constants, this is a quadratic curve centered on 0, b. So I've got a few examples here. So this is, uh, that's y equals, that's y equals x squared. Uh, this one is y is equal to x squared plus 2. No, it isn't. No, no, it isn't y equals x squared plus 2. That's like 2x squared, I think. 2. No, it is x squared plus 2. No, that's y equals 2x squared plus 2, I'm afraid. 2x, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, this is y equals 2x squared plus 2 and so on. So you can see that they all have that profile. Now remember, a quadratic is essentially a parabola like that. Um, that's if it has a positive number by the x squared. But if a is less than 0, if it has a negative number by the x squared, it will look like that. Here is a quick question for you to try. I'd like you to try and sketch these graphs on the same set of axes. Remember, the really important thing is not so much what is in front of the x squared, unless it's positive or negative. In both of these cases, positive. It's a number on the end, because that will determine the coordinates of the turning point. Please have a go at this question now, and when you're ready for the answer, press play. Here is the answer. Your graph should look something like this. The first one, 2x squared plus 3, should have a turning point at 0, 3, and the other one should have a turning point at 0, minus 5. Those are the main features that we need. As I said before, if the number next to the x squared, or the coefficient of x squared, if you like, is negative, we have a sad quadratic. It's negative, it's sad, basically means it looks like this, upside down. So this is a graph of y equals minus x squared plus 3. So again, you can see the constant on the end is telling us where the turning point is going to be. It's going to be at 0, 3. Here's a question for you to try. I'd like you to match the picture of each graph with the equation. So have a go at that now, and when you're ready for the answers, press play. Let's go through the answers. So y equals minus 2x squared plus 5. We have a minus in front of the x squared, which is going to give us a sad quadratic. And the plus 5 will tell us the y-coordinate of the turning point. Only the first and last quadratics are sad, and the last one has a turning point with a y-coordinate of 5. So I can match up the first equation with the last graph. y equals 3x squared plus 4. It's a happy quadratic because it's got a positive number by the x squared. The coefficient of x squared is positive. And there's a plus 4 on the end, which tells me that the turning point has y coordinate of 4. That's going to be the, third, uh, the fourth graph, graph along. y equals 2x squared minus 5 is going to be the second graph. And y equals 4x squared plus 3. It's a happy quadratic. That's going to be the third one. And it's y equals 3 minus 4x squared should be the first graph. So those are, that's how you should have identified the graphs.